Question 6 is about some period 3 elements and their oxides. Write an equation for the reaction of phosphorus with an excess of oxygen. Well, you need to know that phosphorus is P4 and P4O10 is phosphorus oxide. So um, you could probably work that out, that phosphorus is in group 5, so it's got an oxidation state of 5, 5, 4, 5 is so 20, uh, oxygen's in group 6, gains 2 electrons, oxidation state 2. 10 twos are 20, so that balances out the oxidation state to leave no oxidant, no charge overall. And you're going to need 5 O2s to balance the 10 O's. That might be something to learn. Describe a test you had used to carry out to distinguish between sodium oxide, which is a white solid, and the product P4O10, which is another white solid. Well, sodium is a metal, so metal oxides tend to be basic alkalis. And P4O10 P is a non-metal. Phosphorus is towards the right of the group uh, of the of the table in group five. So that's a non-metal oxide. So they tend to be acidic. So you dissolve in water. Add universal indicator. Sodium oxide is going to go blue or purple. Um, um, and uh, phosphorus oxide is going to go red because it's acidic. So non-metal oxides, um, elements on the right-hand side of the periodic table, non-metals, their oxides are acidic and will turn a uh, universal indicator red. Uh, metals on the left-hand side of the periodic table in group 1 and group 2 will um, form alkaline or basic oxides and turn universal indicator blue or purple. State the type of crystal structure shown in silicon dioxide. Well, silicon dioxide, sometimes called silica, is the main constituent of sand and it's got a large macromolecular structure. A giant covalent or a macromolecular structure, a bit like diamond, where it's all held together by strong covalent bonds. Sulfur trioxide, well, in a warm room it's a gas. Um, at around about 46 degrees C, it's actually boiled and turned to a gas. So sulfur trioxide is molecular with van der Waals bonds holding it together. So the SO3 molecules, um, and then they're held by van der Waals bonds, intermolecular van der Waals bonds. So it's a molecular structure. Explain why silicon dioxide has a higher melting point than sulfur trioxide. I think I've already explained that. Uh, many strong covalent bonds are actually in the structure of SiO2. Um, so held in a, in a large giant covalent structure or macromolecular structure. So covalent bonds between all of the atoms, weak van der Waals bonds between the molecules in SO3, and therefore the covalent bonds are stronger than van der Waals bonds, more energy to break them. Write an equation for the direction of sulfur trioxide with potassium hydroxide. So sulfur trioxide is SO3, potassium hydroxide is KOH and then if you just put everything together SO3 plus KOH makes potassium hydrogen sulfate KHSO4 so you just look and see that it just balance it up with 1K, 1H, uh, 1S and 4Os or you can balance it this way as well you can actually make some potassium sulfate um, hard to try the formula of potassium sulfate you've not got to know, you've got to know that an SO4 is an SO4 2 minus ion you could probably work that out sulfur's in group 6 oxidation state plus 6, oxygen's 4, minus 2's, because oxygen's in group 6 with a minus 2 oxidation state, um, 4, um, 4 minus 2's, and 1 plus 6 is a 2 minus, 2 minus potassium is in group 1, plus 1 oxidation state, so you need 2 plus 1's to balance out the 2 minuses of the SO4, 2 minus ions, uh, 2 KOH, and some water as well. But the top equation is easier to balance. Write an equation for the reaction of excess magnesium oxide with phosphoric acid. So phosphoric acid is H3PO4. Uh, so a phosphate ion is a 3 minus ion, so you're going to need, uh, that's an oxidation state, 3 minus is a PO4. Um, again, you could have worked that out with phosphorus in group 5. 4 minus 2 is minus 8, so uh, minus 3. Uh, hydrogen in plus one, so I'm going to need three of those to balance up the three minus on the phosphate ion. Um, MgO, uh, two plus and two minus, so it's just MgO, oxidation state plus two and uh, minus two for the oxygen in group six. Um, and therefore, you know, if that's a three minus and this is two plus, you're going to need three two pluses to balance out the two three minuses and then balance up the, the waters uh, with the oxygens. Draw the displayed formula of the undissociated acid when sulfur trioxide reacts with water. So you've got SO3 and H2O. So SO2 and 
SO2 and H2O is going to make H2SO3, not sulfuric acid, but something called sulfurous acid, and it looks like that. Sulfuric acid, it looks like that. You'll probably know that from uh, paper two, from your organic reaction to your electrophilic addition, and SO3 looks 